Hello there guys, hello there guys, we're back, we're back. You know what it is, this is Dibalene Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. Let us subscribe, let us like, let us, you know, comment, and then let us share. Comments, I enjoy comments. As a friend of mine said, Kaiser Chiefs is, is a useless team. My friend, Kaiser Chiefs is not a useless team, my friend. We have had a very bad, uh, you know, past five years, but it's not a useless team. It's not a useless team, most supported, one of the best in terms of success, in terms of silverware and everything. So Kaiser Chiefs is, is, is not a useless team, not a useless team. It's a very good team, and I think this season Kaiser Chiefs is going to do very well. Watch out, Kaiser Chiefs is going to do well this season. It's going to compete in all the, the cup games. I think we're going to compete and we're going to win the cup. And if we're going to win a cup, we need to start with this one. We need to start with this one. Kaiser Chiefs is playing my respect United on Sunday, 3 o'clock kickoff. And we need to start winning the game of my respect if we're going to win. And I think with Gavin, ha Gavin Hunt as a proven guy, as a guy who knows how to win, who knows how to turn, you know, a, 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 just a normal team into a big team, into a very strong team, he's going to do well on, on the, in case of Chiefs. We don't, just don't need to pressure him, but I think he's very much aware of, of what is expected of him. He's been saying that the team is expected to win cups, he's expected to deliver immediately. There's no time for building and trying to have a very long project. We need quick fix. But we need to win. We need to win as well. So I think he's it's, it's, it's very red. He's a very red guy. He's, he's had interviews. He's very confident. More especially confident on young players. He wants to bring in young players. He's very, you know, he's a guy we know about when it comes to promoting young players. He's, 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 he's very good. So, game. Kaza Chiefs playing against Marispec. Marispec used to give us problems. Last season, Marispec gave us problems. A lot of problems. They, they were busy on us. They knocked us. Knocked us out of the cup games and they collected about four points from Kaiser Chiefs. Collected four points, they won a game and we and then we draw another game. So it's a very good game, good team. No man, no man, no there's no much changes in the team. I think it's just a four rules out. It's gonna be playing for another team. I don't know which team because there's a lot of teams that are signing a lot of players right now. But a four is out. But the team is still there. The team is all is still there. And Eric Tinter plays a very nice free-flowing football. And he knows how to play against Kaiser Chiefs. Just that this is a different Kaiser Chiefs. I don't think he's, he's going to do the same thing that he was doing with Ernst. Hunt is not a boy. Hunt is not Ernst Middle Top. He's not a boy, Hunt. He knows how to plan. He knows how to win. He knows how to give confidence to his players. So, we expect Kaiser Chiefs to perform to win. But there are players that are, that are not around, that are on suspension. Very painful one. Players that are on injuries. And a player that has an administrative issue that he needs to fix. And these are key players that were there for Kaiser Chiefs. These are senior players that were there for us last season. They won games with us. They were the ones pushing the most. You know, you know what it is. You know, you know what I'm talking about. The first player is Gatsande, was our captain, performed very well. His energy, unquestionable, his character and everything. Unquestionable. Kitoko Makas. Kitoko Makas. But it's not gonna be around. It's not gonna be around on suspension. Manyama is not around, was Top in terms of assist in, 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 for Kaiser Chiefs and also is up high there in, in, in the PSL in terms of assists. He's not around. Very disappointing and yeah, it's very disappointing that Manyama is not around as well because of suspension. But we need to live and move on without him. We need to play the game and win the game without him. Two strikers are not around. That's, that's, that's another thing, another problem. Two strikers are not around. Nukovic is not around. Castro is not around. We need to play without Castro. We need to, to play without Nukovic. And those are our best strikers. And those were sort of our only strikers last season. So, but we need to play without them. They're on injury. We need to move on without them. They're the ones who contributed the most in terms of goals last season for us. They only pushed us in terms of goals last season, but they're not around. But the guys that are there now are going to have to show up and prove that they can do well, even when those guys are not around. The team has to show up. Whether someone's not around, whether it's dark, green, whatever it is, players need to show around, need to show up, need to, to, to win games. We need to win games. This is Kaiser Chiefs. We don't have time for, 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 for manga, manga business. We don't have time for that. These guys must deliver the ones that are around. Also, Mato is not around. Mato is not going to be playing. He's not available for, for, for the game. He's, in, he has, he's injured, but it's, 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 it doesn't look like it's a very serious thing. Mato is not around. I had a very good combination with Cardoso, was maturing very well. His combination, his, 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 his relationship with Cardoso, he was maturing very well. 
but it's not around. We need to play without him. We need to push without him. Ape is not available for the game. He has issues of his work permit and and passport. But to be honest, I I with Ape I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. He's a good goalkeeper. Did nice saves against Pirates. You know, against Sundowns, he used to play, played very well, played almost all our games last season. But I'm, I'm not concerned that he's not around. We know who's the best keeper. Kuna has to play. And this is Kuna's time to play. He's old. The problem is that he's old. Akpe is 34, Kuna is 33. Bruce Buvuma is, is, is not been coming, com, coming up as well. I think it's time for Kaiser Chiefs to look for a keeper or to promote a keeper. We need a new guy. We need a young guy as well. But Kuna is, has to play. Kuna is there. So Akpe. Wish his thing gets fixed so that it can be available, but Kuna has to play. Kuna has to play this this season. So our lineup, I think my lineup should be this way. I don't know how the coach is planning to have his lineup, and I don't know how you guys think we need to. Because she's need to fill, fill in players uh, for for tomorrow for for, for uh, Sunday game. But my lineup, the first is that the keeper must be Itumelen Kuna. Umelem <laughs> Kune, unquestionable. I don't want to speak much about him. You, you know it, Umelem Kune. Very good in distribution. We're going to need him. Very good in commanding at the back. With tower outside not available, we're going to need Kune. We need Kune. Right back must be Riff Frostler. Frostler, you know Riff very well going forward, but not so good in terms of defending. But we're going to need him to defend, to defend well tomorrow, uh, to defend well on Sunday against. Uh, my respect United. Riv must play. At center, two center backs that must be there is Cardoso. Obviously, Cardoso must be there, experienced guy. And he must be paired with, with Ngeza. Ngeza now, it's been on and off. Sometimes just clears the ball, kicks the ball, makes mistakes and all that. But he needs to play, he needs to show up and he needs to perform. And he needs to show that he's willing and ready to compete against Mato and Cardoso. Because he's been there, he's been there in Kaiser Chiefs. You can't say he's a young, he's a young, he's not a young star. He's been there in Kaiser Chiefs. He needs to show up. There's been potential, potential, potential. He needs to play to, to 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 show up. I think he must play on the left between Tia and Tia Zulu and 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 Yagan Sassman. Sassman must play. Sassman must play because we have issues with centre back. Mato is not around and he's good. Sassman in terms of he doesn't go forward a lot. He's very disciplined in terms of going forward. He doesn't go forward a lot. And also used to play as a centre back when we bought him and all that. But he needs to play now. He needs to assist the centre backs. He needs to assist at the back. We don't need players that are going to go forward a lot. Go forward a lot. He needs to play. And yeah, he used to make poor mistakes last season. But I expect him to perform well. I expect him to perform well. And he has to play. Jalen Sassman. In the midfield, I think Blom should start. Jabulo Blom must start uh, instead of Akum. Akumu is there, is around, I know, is very physical, but I think Njabulo Plum must start. Young players must get a chance, they must get in, Most especially when you're facing a transfer ban, you need young players to be there, you need young players that are the ones that are going to push you. And Njabulo Plum can play as a, as a center back, can play as a, as, a, as, a, as a right back, and can play as a defensive midfield. And I think he suits well in defensive midfield, he must play. I think he should play with Bakas, must be assisted by Bakas, Bakas. It's good in terms of passing and making the game to flow and taking passes forward. I think Pagas should play. A third midfielder that I think must play, but a bit in the front, is Nchangas. Nchangas, Kaiser Chiefs played like four friendly games this season, just, just before, be, be, before the, the game of Sunday. Played four, four, four games, four friendly games, and Nchangas scored like three go goals. And the coach spoke up on Nchangas. The coach said that he sees him more of a second striker guy. So, and I think must play as that number 10, as with that free role to go forward and to assist in the midfield and to give the passes to the strikers. Changase must play. It's his time to play. The coach didn't play him. Last, the last coach that left didn't play him, didn't like him. I don't know why he didn't like him. But he must play. He must play right now. And I'm hoping that he'll be playing tomorrow. Yeah, on Sunday. Throughout, uh, against, against my respect. On the sides, I go with Zuma, Msholoz, and Zuma on the right, and Billiard on the left. Billiard on the left, he's not good in crossing. Billiard is good in cutting in and linking in, in with linking with the striker. So I think if 
you have Zuma on the on the left, on, on the right, you have Billard on the left, who's drifting inwards, playing with Nchangase. It's, it's gonna be a very good combination. I think it's gonna it can be a very good combination as well. So Billard must play. And Billard is fit and ready, and it's time to shine. And Billard's gonna shine, and I think Billard is gonna score a goal tomorrow as well. That's my prediction. Another thing is that I think Billard is gonna score tomorrow. And then on the striker, striking position, I go with Kambole. I know Lazarus Kambole, you don't like him, many people don't like him, they've been complaining about him and all that, but he needs to rise up. Last season, at, towards the end of the season, it looked like it's promising, he's trying to gain his confidence, he had a goal at the end of the season. But right now, without Nukovic, without Castro, He's the only guy who's a striker now who's left and, some, and the young Sifama. I don't think he needs Sifama has to start. I think he can start from, he, he can come in from the bench. But Kambole should be given a chance. Link up with Billiard and Changase. I think it can be a very good combination. It can be a very good combination. Although it, it, it lacks that kind of physicality that we know we had with, with Castro and, and, and Nukovic. But Kambole should start. And that's my first level. And then... On the bench, there must be Nobo, there must be Parker, there must be Akum, because we're going to need Akum. Yes, inside right now, the players that are there in my lineup, Bloom, Bakas, and, and Changas, are not so physical. I don't think we need a physical players. I don't think we need two physical players against my respect. My respect plays a free flowing football. They are not so physical. Yeah? So I think Akum should be out. But in case we need him, we need someone who's strong, can be physical, and maybe towards the end of the game, we might need someone who can have his presence there. Then he can come in. Akum must be out, must be on the bench. Spam must be on the bench as well, and Bruce Buvuma must be on the bench as well as our second goalkeeper. Those is my starting lineup. Kuni, Frosla, Kados, Ongezana, Sasman, Blom, Changase, Bakas, Zuma, Piliat, and Kambol. I don't know what's your starting lineup. I don't know what's the coach's starting lineup. And I hope the coach will pick my own uh, starting lineup. I hope the coach will fill in these guys. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very positive. I'm very positive. This season we're going to have good, 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 uh, a very good, uh, good season. Score prediction. Eish. Yeah, score prediction. Because there's, there's, no, there's no draw. There's no draws. You can't draw. You need to win these games. All of them. And it's a cup game. You must win. So score prediction. Predict that the Chiefs win 2 1. Yeah, my respect is going to score. I don't think we can stop my respect from scoring at least one goal. We can give them at least one goal. But the Chiefs is going to win 2 1. And that's my, my, my prediction. And if anything outside that prediction, it can only be 3 1. Nothing, no draw, nothing. I don't know what's your score prediction, but Chiefs will win. I'm very confident that the Chiefs is going to win, my friend. Let's support the team. And then let's like, let us comment. Give me your own prediction. Give me your own, you know, line up. And then let's have fun. Let's have conversation. Thank you very much, guys. And I, I think I'm not well. I've, I've been feeling some, some fever, like, uh, you know, symptoms. But I don't think it's corona. It's, it's not corona. I don't think it's corona. I started feeling this last night. But I think I'm going to be fine. I think I'm going to be well. I think when Kaza Chiefs win on Sunday, I'll be, I'll, I'll have, you know, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll recover. I'll recover. If Kaza Chiefs win, if Kaza Chiefs lose, hey, this flu is going to be too much. It's go, I think my flu uh, is going to graduate to, to Corona if, if Kaza Chiefs lose. But I'm very hopeful Kaza Chiefs is going to win. Thank you very much. Let's have fun.